In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create jelly plate prints with leaves and stencils. Let's get right to it. So yesterday I had the best luck on the jelly plate and I made all of these gorgeous papers uh, with leaves and my spiral stencil and mask set. I didn't have the video going. So I thought I would work on some of these today, see what I can get on video for you, and get back to jelly printing. My last few videos have been more on what to do with your jelly prints, which is also fun and important, but geez, nothing like the jelly printing itself, right? And what I did see yesterday that I want to finish up on today is I laid the, the stencil over this one leaf print and it looked so cool like that that I want to go ahead and um, do that right now. So let's just start with that because this is cool, but I actually like this better. So in order to get that, I'm going to need to put down a layer going to use some Titan Buff, some gold, bright, uh, iridescent bright gold, and a little bit of teal. Now, I also get asked quite a bit, do cheaper pigments work as well? And I'm going to tell you that I know it's possible, but I'm spoiled and I love these golden pigments. And that's what I use because I know most of the time how to get what I'm looking for. And sometimes Liquitex, Liquitex and golden. But the other pigments, unless I'm doing a different kind of printing, just don't give me what I want. So that's why I just spend the extra money and pay for the quality. Okay. So to get what I was looking for, I'm going to have to cover with the masks rather than use the stencil. <laughs> <laughs> the backwards glory of jelly printing. And I did want to make sure and let you know that the temperature here today is 76 and the humidity is 29%. I was looking yesterday because it was going so well. I was like, what is the, what are the conditions? And it was 30%. So we should be close. All right, so I laid those down. I'm going to put this over. This is rice paper. Um, I know I was printing on the 9 by 12 plate yesterday, which is a great plate. But honestly, for me, I need a little room for error. And if you don't put the paper down exactly right on that, it will, um, you won't cover the whole paper, whatever. The plate and the paper don't line up and you, you're you off. <laughs> so, uh, I need, I need more grace. Well, this is looking good. It's going to be different than what I had in mind, but that's all right. Still looks super cool. Wow, uh, just I really do love this combination. So we've got one success already. Not a bad way to start out. And I'll lift these off and pull up a ghost print here. I also did some work with a, a different stencil, which I will bust out here and give you all the details about. Probably need to let that sit just for a minute. I did notice I had to stop and let things dry yesterday, which is not something I'm used to, but I guess while I'm doing that, I can tell you about the leaves. And these little guys are growing out of the, the trunk at the base of the tree. This one's a little bit, I'll have to watch the placement of this. And I edited it a little bit because this top leaf and this leaf were running into each other. Anyway, I cut these off the bottom of the trunk. So let's lift this off with a dark. Let's do phthalo turquoise. Actually, I feel like I want some dark cherry purpley 
color. So that was quinacridone magenta along with phthalo turquoise. Right, and I'm using the rice paper today, um, shiny side down. Leaving a little bit of paint on the plate there. That's unfortunate, but it's still an interesting print. All right, so over this we can go with a nice light leaf coat. But I'm thinking ahead, and to pull up the ghost from the light leaf coat, I'm going to want a dark base. So let's just put that down right now. Again, I feel like I want some... Uh, dark cherry-ish, dark purpley cherry. That was a carbon black, permanent violet dark, and again with the quinacridone magenta. That was a little too much paint. All right, so this is a base coat for us. I'll let that sit for a minute so that I hopefully get all the paint off the plate and I don't have to subject you to the tape noise again. Yeah, no, nope, I'm still leaving stuff on the plate. It's not tragic, but it's it's not optimal either. I really don't know why it's doing that. A little bit of Titan Buff because it's 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 more opaque actually than the white titanium white. I want to use a little bit of nickel azo yellow, primary yellow. Okay, so um, we'll put down our leaves. This side has more ridgy um, texture, so that's going to be what's really going to give us some good ghosting. <laughs> the good kind of ghosting. And then we'll just throw in a little bit of other, uh, the Duplo and... Uh, the tiniest bit of other interest, my favorite glass, which has not been working as well. I think I've got to let it build up another layer of paint on there. Okay, now we'll do this one, pick it up. I didn't lay it down flat. Can see there. All right, let's see what we're getting. Oh, that's nice. Oh my God, this is so okay. Those two ran together. That's all right. Uh, but this combo, I've never done this before. Not that you're ever going to run out of great combinations. Uh, for the jelly plate, but yeah, this is not optimal that <laughs> those two ran together like that, but that's okay. Yeah, wow, that's pretty, I like that. Okay, we're off to a good start here. All right, so we'll pull these up and have our, this one that we'll pick this up on.
And let's get the Baron out so we can really get a good breath of there. Pick that up. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's uh that's pretty amazing. Um again, it was not optimal that I didn't notice that those two were touching, but that's all right. All right, so I think I'm going to do another dark. Okay, coming in with the carbon black, sap green hue, Van Dyke brown, green gold. I'm sure this is super frustrating when you're thinking, um, I don't want to buy all those expensive pigments. But you know what? <laughs> Some people have expense, expensive habits of other kinds, and um, yeah, this one's not that bad. So, um, I'm gonna just oh, look how it's look how it's um, lifting up there. It's super lacy. Let's throw a little uh, phthalo blue green uh, shade on there. Cannot cannot explain why that happens. You you saw before it didn't do that. I didn't do anything different in between. And then we had that um, interesting result, so. Okay, that was a lot of paint on there. Okay, that's a good dark. We've got some lines from the paper fold, but that's okay. Okay, good base. Now, I've got something in mind. I want a dark outline for the leaves as well. Gosh, I guess I'm going to need a light base coat as well. So that's Dialeride Yellow. Transparent Red Oxide. And some green gold. This is sort of like fall leaves. Okay, loving that. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to do a dark leaf press on top of there, Van Dyke Brown, Sap Green Hue, Carbon Black, okay let's get these leaves down, let's go with the big one this time, go with that, reverse this, not point them at each other this time, just go like that. We'll do throw a couple of these on here. And use this light base. Okay, beautiful. I just gotta decide if I want something else on top of there. 
Okay, now this one actually is going to have to um, dry before I can get a good ghost pull on that. Okay, that was about five minutes, and even though it still looks like it's wet, um, it's not picking up on my finger, so I think we're ready to go. Also switched out my brayer off piece of paper. It was getting kind of congested. I don't use those, although some people do, but I don't like them once they've got a texture to them because I don't feel like they, that was nickel azo yellow. I don't feel like they pick up with the texture. Anytime there's texture, you're not gonna pull the same kind of print. Transparent red oxide, this is green gold and a little bit of phthalo blue green shade. Okay. Uh, let's do the middle part first. And I'm going to switch brayers for the blue. And let's just pull this. And then we still have a beautiful, really dark base there to play with. And we'll do that next. Still got some lacing, but I don't really mind it. It's looking really beautiful. I think I like it better like this. Um, that is a very nice print. Okay, so we've got that nice dark base to use, and um, it's a great time to play with some of the interference on top of that dark background. So I've got the interference green, interference blue, and we'll throw in a little bit of the Titan buff again. And this time we'll start with this time we'll start with the spirals. So let's just use the actual stencil this time. Okay, not my favorite result. We definitely want something more happening on top of that. And let's see what we can come up with here when we add some dark carbon black. Actually hearing a real um, departure in color after the teal, which is high roll red light. So, we will see what's going to happen there. Yeah, that's a shocker, huh? All right, let's see what this looks like. So this, this is a good opportunity, I think, to add some color to this uh, with the Catalyst Wedge with some uh, transparent golden fluid acrylics. To use just a couple drops of the green gold, nickel azo yellow, some of the transparent red oxide, and some uh, manganese blue hue. Yeah, that brings me a little closer to something that I like the look of.
yeah okay so and that it after that dries we'll do another uh, we'll do some leaves over that all right so let's do leaves on top of here we're gonna do some green gold titan buff and some teal actually i really want a little bit of the gold too thank god i don't have to work with a limited palette you know sometimes i do work with a limited palette when i'm painting and it's easier to mix the colors but mixing colors on the jelly plate is just a whole different thing so it's not that i'm against a limited palette it's just harder for me anyway on the on the jelly plate That was probably a little too much pigment. All right, let's get our leaves on here now. Let's do a different layout. All right, let's see what we get here. Not liking the look of that. I guess we can't get away with having every one of them fabulous. No, that is most definitely not my favorite, but we do have a nice potential here for something. Yeah, let's let this dry for a minute before we try and pick it up. Okay, that's dry now. Let's pick this one up. I want to kind of bring this session to a close since I want to finish on a high note and not <laughs> go downhill. So that was transparent red oxide. Use a little Van Dyke brown. Some green gold. Sap green. Let's see what we come up with here. Okay, so we've got we've got this one to do um, either leaves or spirals over. I think probably leaves, and we've got this one, which um, is the only one that I don't like at all right now. So there's not much to lose there. Okay. Well, that's interesting, but it's um, not going to be enough. It's not enough for me at this point, not for what I'm thinking about. So let's do dark over this. Let's go with something that I almost always love the look of, which is turquoise phthalo and teal together. I just, that just right there makes me happy. <laughs> okay. And let's use our masks, our stencil, our uh, spiral masks. And 
And let's use this one. Okay. Yep, that uh, that that was a gamble. That was a that one's paying off, at least uh, for me, for my taste, for my purposes. All right. Wow. Yep, that uh, that worked out. Good. All right, so we've got these uh, little ghosty things. I might as well do this over this one here. Whoops, this little guy. Uh, let's just see what happens if I do this. Get the Baron. Well, what do you know? Uh, uh, for me, that's an improvement. We still have stuff on the plate. I think I'm just gonna leave it because I'm getting to the wind down here. I want Titan Buff here and some mm, 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 mm. Nickel Azo Yellow. Is that all I want? No. Iridescent Bright Gold. gonna do leaves on top of the spirals and possibly okay let's go with this this <laughs> this That's a lot of leaves, huh? We'll leave our little glass off this time. Okay, this one. I'm gonna keep putting my, keep putting the brayer back over Keep putting it away. This could really benefit from sitting a while, but I'm too impatient. Okay, yep, I'll take that too. And then we've got a leaf uh, ghosty that's very light. I feel like I might want to try that on here. And then um, let's see that. Have it come up this way. And then possibly do one more since this is our purely experimental sheet here. Um, not going to call that a, a total improvement, but I think I see what to do to finish this off and then we'll call it a day, right? We're going to go dark on top of here. I've got carbon black. Ooh, that was a lot. That was too much. Halo blue. Okay, here we go with the stencils, or rather the masks.
Okay, here we go. All right, well, that's not bad. I mean, I don't, I'm not in love with it, but we got so many gorgeous prints. This one, this one, this one, this one, and I really think <laughs> the first one we did was probably my favorite. All right. Well, I hope you had fun. This is Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart, and I'll see you next time.